So it is that time of year to be getting your needs assessments together so that you can send out to your parents and your teachers. So if you're trying to figure out, okay, what in the world should I use? And you're going to definitely want to watch this video that I'm going to be posting where I'm going to show you guys what I like to use and it makes your life so much easier. <music> school counselors and school counselors to be thank you guys so much for coming to my channel the inspiring school counselor and today we're going to be talking all about needs assessments just to keep it real simple for you guys that might not know what needs assessments are um, pertaining to school counselors needs assessments are surveys that you can send out either to teachers parents so that you can gain feedback on things that will be beneficial for your school counseling program and even better yet you can even gain information on specific students that the parent might want you to see for individual counseling, small groups, and even get ideas on lessons, okay, that you can do. So I want to be showing you all something that I like to use whenever I am putting together my needs assessments. It just makes things so much easier. And also, I love that you can actually generate a QR code to make it easier for parents to access the needs assessment. So I'm super excited to get into this. If you guys are excited too, make sure you hit that like button and also make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so all of my Microsoft users, if you have a Microsoft 365 account, you can have you have access to Microsoft Forms, okay? So whenever you click on the app for the forms, this is what it's gonna open up. It's gonna look something similar to this. And I just wanna point out, they do have other templates in here if you wanted to look at all the other things that they have, the surveys that you can utilize, all right? But today, we're gonna to be starting on a blank canvas. So you're gonna actually click on New Form, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. It is opening up for us and I'm going to make this smaller. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you want to title it. All right. You guys are actually going to see me looking over because I actually already did this. I'm going to look at the one that I used for last year. So you could put something as simple as a uh, school counselor needs assessment. All right. And then you want to do parent slash guardian. Perfect. Parent slash guardian. I spelt that wrong. Didn't mean to do that. All right. Now, it is very important, at least in my personal opinion, for you to put a description. Okay. In this description, you're going to utilize this opportunity to let your parents or whoever you're sending this out to know the importance of this needs assessment, what you're going to be using this needs assessment for, as well as when they need to turn in this needs assessment, like the deadline. So I'm going to type in something here and you guys feel free to copy the same exact thing and maybe just adjust it to wherever, whatever school you're at. All right, you guys. So this is what I put. The purpose of this needs assessment is to gather your feedback concerning your child's needs this school year, your feedback Feedback will help the school counsel support your child's academic, social, and emotional needs. Please submit this survey for each child separately so the school counselor can meet the needs of each individual student. This survey is due by August 15th, 2024. Now, school for us starts back August 7th, and so that's about a week that they have to turn this in, but you can definitely give them more time. Now, y'all, please excuse. I was trying to hurry up and type this, and I know I have some stuff that's capitalize that should be capitalized and i'm sure i have some things um need to have some punctuations and stuff like that but you guys fix that how you desire so now that we're done with our description now i want you to click on add new all right and once you click on that you are you have the option whether to choose choice text ratings date and even if you click on that little arrow, it will open up to some other options as well, okay? But the one that we're gonna use, um, especially if you're wanting to do it exactly like mine, it's gonna be text, okay? So the first thing that I, I love to add in here is I want to know who is filling out this survey just because when I'm getting this information and it's about students I want to know okay who was the one that's given the permission so it's just really good for me to collect that information and you guys fix the wording however you need to okay um so you do that however you need to. And I, I'm going to be going in here and I'm going to be changing some things, I'm sure. All right. So parent slash guardian's name that is filling out this survey. All right. So 
you can either leave it like it is and go on to the next one, all right? And this will provide them to do a short answer or you can do a long answer. That's just gonna allow them to put in even more you know, uh, information. Okay. I'm actually going to just leave it off and just do a short answer. And you also have the option whether you want to require for them to answer this question or not. I say you guys require them to answer every single thing that you put on this needs assessment because you want to get as much information as, that you can. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that. So now it is highlighted. And here is some other things that you can, you know, play around with. I don't know what all these things are and what they do, um, but feel free to play around with that. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go to add new. And the next thing that you're going to click on is choice. All right. Now I want to know what is the relationship that this parent slash guardian has with this particular student. So that's what we're going to ask. So then that is all filled out. Make sure that you require it if it is that you want to require that. Okay. And then you have a choice to whether or not you want them to be able to choose multiple answers. Um, and so then they will be able to do that. And what I love too, is if you want them to choose, be able to choose multiple answers, there can be no limit or equal to, or at the most. Okay. So you can play around with that. Now I'm just going to have them choose one. You're either the mother, the father, like what are you? So the next information that I want to know is, okay, what is the child's name? So when you click on that, you want to add text again, and you're going to just put child's name. Then I also want to know, okay, what grade level is that student in? So I think we have everything set there. Now we're moving on to our next one that we're going to be asking, and this is going to be the school counseling services section. Now I do want to add, let me see if it will allow me to, perfect. So I'm going to click section because I want to, make known okay this is talking about the school counselor services and once you put that everything should be good now you can add in what it is that you're asking so i want to do choice and i'm going to ask them what school counseling services you feel your child could benefit from both or neither all right so now we're going to move on to the next section and so we're just going to go here and we want to pick section. Now this is going to be areas of need. All right. So this is when it can get really specific of what it is that the parents or the teachers feel like that the students need. All right. That, that child needs. All right. A choice. Now, what areas does your child need help in? You may choose more than one answer. Number one thing it's required. I just want to make sure I get that part out of the way. All right. So then here I want to put academics. Uh, social, emotional, and then we have behavior. Okay, so this is really going to help me out and I'm going to go ahead and put, they can choose multiple, all right? And I'm not even going to have to deal with any of that. They could pick all of them if they want to. It's just absolutely up to the parent, all right? So that is already done. Now we're gonna move on to our next one. And this is also going to be a choice one. So let's go ahead and they're gonna be able to choose more than one on this one as well. So let me click on choice. This is says, check the areas in which your child is in need of individual and or small group counseling services. You may choose more than one area as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put multiple answers and there's no limit and it is required just to get that out the way. So I have anger management. Uh, Self-esteem. Right, so that is everything on there. We already hit the required, multiple answers, so everything is good. You guys, we are getting done with this. Hold on one second here. I wanna make sure I don't leave out anything. All right, so now the next section that we're adding is I do wanna know also what is the child's teacher name. So I'm actually gonna go up here because I'm gonna add this because I do want to know the child's teacher's name. Now we're gonna get ready for our next one. This is the opportunity for you to ask the parent, if, they, if you're sending this out to parents, or you can even say to the teachers, what information would they like for you to give them, all right? So I'm gonna click 
choice again and it's going to say last one that we're going to do you're going to just do a section and you're just going to tell them thank you there you go all right you guys so now that we're done with the needs assessment i'm going to show you guys some other things that you can do to jazz up your form as well as i'm going to show you where you can go to get that qr code all right so for one if you wanted to preview this all you have to do is just hit preview and you can see what it's going to look like from the parents view so I'm gonna go back really quick. You can change the style here. So you have all these options here. I'm just gonna click on some of them. This is what you're gonna see. All right, even if you want to have some movement in the back, you can. So they have quite a few options here for you. You can even change the color. You can even add background music, so that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool that you can do that. All right, so I'm just gonna leave mine like it is. I might even change the color to, let's just do blue. All right, we're just gonna keep it blue. All right, so now, now that we're done with that, you're going to click on collect your responses. This is a very important area that you really wanna make sure that you pay attention to, okay? So for the send and collect responses, you can choose for anyone to respond, or only the people that is in that specific organization that you're tied to. Um, you can also record name, uh, one response per person. You can pick a specific people in, in that uh, team to be able to respond. So you wanna make sure you guys that you click on anyone can respond. That's gonna be so key because if you don't do it, then the people that you're gonna send this out and the parents are not gonna be able to fill it out. So you wanna make sure you click on anyone can respond, all right? You also have where you can send out your link. So you can shorten the link by clicking that, or you can just copy the link how it is and with it not being shortened. You can also send it in a way where you can actually tag people. Now, this is where you're going to go to get that QR code, you guys. So if you click on that, you can download that and you can put that outside your office. You can put it, you can print it on maybe your newsletter that you're going to give out to the parents. Um, and so this is something that you can definitely utilize and I highly suggest for you guys too. All right. And it says re recipients can scan the code on a phone or tablet to access the form. So very cool, very easy to do. And then this is something that you can also use to embed on a web page. So there you have it. Everything right there. I'm so happy I was able to show you guys this. So now let me also show you guys another thing. If it is that you are presenting, maybe you're showing something to the parents at open house or something like that. If you click on present, you guys, look what you have here. It's already gonna be on the board. They can copy the link, take their phones out and do all that great stuff. And you can actually see the responses, waiting for a response. So you can actually see them in live action, doing it and submitting their responses. So that's pretty cool as well. So I'm just gonna grab that real quick. When I hit submit, um, this is what it tells me. I have one response on this and that parent's name is Test. <laughs> And it's a mom. So you see how it does that, you guys? It breaks it down for me, and I love that. And it will do it for you as well. So even though I only have one response, but let's say you get 300 responses, you're going to see a whole lot of numbers in here. You're going to see uh, the, the numbers here change. Um, how many fathers, how many grandparents, right? You're gonna see that. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thank you guys so much for your time. If you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.